914, welcome back everyone. Voters in the Granite State will have their say at the polls. As we've been reporting, the New Hampshire primary gets underway this morning. Lauren Christella is the president and CEO with the Committee of 70 here in Philadelphia. She's joining us this morning to give us some insight. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us a little bit more about what you'll be watching for today. We're watching turnout. I mean, that's for sure. It, it, New Hampshire is one of the states with the highest turnouts historically, and their Secretary of State is predicting record-breaking turnout in today's primary. And also, this is the first in the nation primary. It's kind of setting the stage, in a sense, and the tone, possibly, of what we can expect throughout the year. Talk to us about the uniqueness of this primary and the role of independent voters. Yes. So nearly 40% of New Hampshire's registered voters are registered independent, un unaffiliated with either the Republicans or the Democrats. And they have an opportunity to pick which ballot they want to receive. Uh, there's a deadline that was earlier in October for them to decide. And that's partially why you're going to see such a, a big turnout on the Republican side. A lot of people chose, chose that ballot this time. Uh, the other factor there is that uh, President Biden is not on the ballot in New Hampshire. The DNC is not recognizing the New Hampshire primary as the first. They've given that honor to uh, South Carolina. So there is a write-in campaign, but uh, that might also have motivated lots of those independent voters to switch to the Republican ballot. Yeah, I know Nikki Haley is certainly counting on some of those independent voters, obviously, to make a difference for her campaign. It's now a two-person race for the Republican presidential nomination, as we know. So how important of a day will it be for Nikki Haley? This is make or break for Nikki Haley's campaign. I think it, even if she doesn't win, if she can make it close, uh, right now the, the last polls still had Ron DeSantis in the race and showed Trump ahead by more than double digits. So if she can tighten that gap and then take that momentum into South Carolina, it might change the narrative. But right now, it looks like everyone's assuming the former president will be the party's nominee. Yeah, and all eyes have been on Iowa. Now, of course, New Hampshire. So what's the interest of Pennsylvania residents right now? Right now, there's uh, one just to decide. The, the race is going to be decided before it gets to the Pennsylvania primary in April. Uh, April 23rd is ours. The other piece to notice is the open primary factor here. It's a partially open state. We don't have open primaries in Pennsylvania. We have closed primaries. You have to pick and register with one of the two major parties. Uh, and the impact that that can have on the race is very interesting. Obviously, Committee of 70 is a big supporter of open primaries here in Pennsylvania. Yeah, we've talked about that before, Lauren, during the, the other election cycle. So that could definitely make a difference if that were the case in the future. But thank you so much for your insight this morning. We do appreciate it. And of course, stay with CBS News Philadelphia for continuing coverage all throughout the 2024 presidential election. You can always get the very latest on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.